the energy um, uh, as soon as Faye walks in to see you, 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 you feel as good, you've got to get on your game because, um, uh, you know, she'll challenge you and um, won't just accept what you're saying. She'll, she'll, she'll challenge you that you are, make, you know, saying the right thing, making the right decisions. And I think backed up by her energy and enthusiasm, not, for, not so much for her business, but actually for your business, which is very, very key. You feel like she's working for you. I think that's a very key point. But you know that whoever, whichever of the team comes in to, to back whatever project you're doing, you know that you're going to get quality and people with lots of experience um, to, to, you know, to, to make sure the job happens. Yeah, so we've been working with Keep Your Fault for uh, around two years now. Previous to that, we never engaged with a PR company, um, but, but now they're very much part of the furniture um, and we use them for a variety of, uh, of things. Firstly, um, from our, our relationship with the press, local and national, Keep Your Fork are our go-to person. Um, further to that, uh, Jamie within the team has done some bid writing for us uh, with NHS tenders and council tendering. Um, protocol, document writing for, within the organisation, they've been there to help us through that. And I would say more recently, sort of crisis management where something has gone wrong here, they've been the go-to person to sort of handle it and advise on the best way to, uh, to handle the situation. We engage with them uh, to do some bid writing on uh, tenders for the NHS and the council and um, we've been successful in winning some of those tenders, not all but some of them. Um, what that has done is uh, they've come in and reviewed all our documentation, all our processes. Um, to the extent we're looking at actually them guiding us through uh, an ISO qualification, maybe investors in people, um, but that's all been sort of driven by Keep Your Fork if you like. Um, something that we may have pulled back, but Faye's very good at, at, at pushing you on and making you think about the next step, and, uh, and that's been really engaging. Another example of that is we, we would never get involved in local business awards, and um, last year um, Faye convinced me that we, you know, it was the right time to sort of for City Taxes to, to make a mark locally uh, in the business scene. So, via the chamber we applied for I think it was three three awards um, Faye hand held us through that process we were very fortunate enough to get shortlisted in three awards which I think was the first time a company's ever been done that and have to hand that to keep before they it was very much down to them and fortunately I, I, I was a winner in one of the categories the for the business person of the year award um, again something that I would have never gone for if it wasn't uh, for Faye and the team so you know is very uh, obvious evidence of success there last year. Pre Keep Your Fork, uh, I would uh, suggest our relationship with the press was uh, not uh, not very good. With Keep Your Fork, I think we definitely manage uh, our relationship with the press better, and that comes out in in how we're portrayed. It's 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 been far more positive, um, nearly exclusively positive. 100%. Yeah, anybody thinking about engaging with a PR company locally, I, I couldn't think of a better option. Just you, you, from the energy and the enthusiasm and the quality and the success and what, what they deliver. So I'd thoroughly recommend them, yeah.